Hello everyone, this is the part 3rd of urine examination video. This, in this video we will discuss about various crystals which are present in the urine. Now the crystals uh, present in the urine can be divided on the basis of their presence in the acidic urine and in the alkaline urine. So naming the crystals which are present in the acidic urine, these are like calcium oxalate, uric acid crystals, tyrosine, cysteine, leucine, cholesterol, sulfonamide and the crystals which are present in the alkaline urine those are ammonium phosphate, triple phosphate, calcium carbonate, ammonium biurate and calcium phosphate. Now we will discuss each crystal one by one. Going first to the calcium oxalate crystal these are most commonly present in the urine and they are normally present. So how do they appear? They appear, uh, the, here we can see, they are colorless and refractile and they have a characteristic envelope like structure. Okay, the second form of the calcium oxalate crystal is dumbbell shape. Now calcium oxalate crystal, they can be dihydrate or they can be monohydrate. If they are monohydrate, then the... Uh, shape is dumbbell shape and in the ethylene glycol poisoning in which calcium oxalate crystals are excreted into the urine they are uh, in this case they are mostly dumbbell shaped crystals which are seen in ethylene glycol poisoning this was the calcium oxalate crystal now going to the uric acid crystals now the uric acid crystals they are yellowish to brown in the color and they have various shapes they are present in many shapes. They are rhomboid, they are prism, they are sometimes hexagonal also, they are plates and they can also be seen in the normal urine, can also be seen in some nephropathies. Now going to their picture that uh, here we can see, we can see there are many shapes. Here rhomboid we can see, we can see in the form of rectangles and they are slightly yellowish brown in the color. Okay. Then uh, this is again the same uh, picture showing that they are in this also like plate pla uh, plates of the uric acid crystals we can see over here. Now going to the amorphous urates. Now uh, amorphous uh, means they don't have a particular morphology. They just give a cloudy appearance to the urine specimen and urates if they are present they dissolve on heating. And they are seen in some patients which are uh, suffering from gout. Also, there is one more amorphous form. There is amorphous phosphates. They dissolve on uh, addition of acetic acid. Okay, this was about amorphous urates. Now, going to leucine crystals. Now, these leucine crystals, they are not normally present in the urine. Like we discussed for calcium oxalate, uric acid crystals, they are normally present. These are not normally present. And the appearance of the crystal, it is yellowish brown, spherical in the shape. It has a concentric rings on the outer edge and radial striations in the center. And it can be seen in um, amino acid metabolism disorders okay now going to another crystal cysteine crystals now cysteine crystals they are uh, here we can see they are colorless they are plates and they are hexagonal in shape they have some have equal sides some have unequal sides and they are present in cases of cysteine urea or any hereditary metabolic disorders involving cysteine metabolism now going to tyrosine crystal. They have a typical shape and the typical shape is that of a needles. They have fine needles and they are present in acidic urine. The crystals we are discussing here, they are mostly present in the acidic urine now until now. And they are seen in cases of tyrosinemia and in which tyrosine metabolism defects are present. They are seen in that. Now going to another crystals, cholesterol crystals. They have also a typical picture. You can see this is a cholesterol crystal. Okay, how they appear is they are colorless, they are rectangular, but they have a notch uh, in one or more corners. Here we can see this is a notch which is present. Okay, and it is seen in nephrotic syndrome or in some uh, disorders in which lipid urea is there or chyle urea is there there is flariasis or any lymphatic obstruction due to any cause the cholesterol crystals can be seen also along with oval fat bodies can also be present there are one uh, more crystals known as sulfonamide crystals 
and you can see here this is a typical shape of sulfonamide crystal and it is seen normally after administration of sulfonamide antibiotics it is seen after that now going to uh, crystal present in the alkaline urine this was the acidic urine once going to the alkaline urine triple phosphate also known as true white stones they are composed of magnesium ammonium and phosphate this is triple phosphate and they are rectangular in shape and they have a characteristic appearance which is known as coffin lid appearance okay and they are mostly seen after bacterial urinary infection caused by urea splitting bacteria now we will see the typical picture of it it is a coffin lid appearance you can see over here this is a typical picture of triple phosphate stones crystals which are present in the urine now going to calcium phosphate they are also present in the urine and they resemble uh, sheets of ice they appear like that now going to the calcium carbonate crystals they are yellowish dumbbell shape or sapphire they can have radial striations and they are present in the alkaline urine this is a picture we can see they are dumbbell shape or they are spherical they can have striation inside them here we can see this is a spherical it can have a red, uh, striation and here it is we can see this is a typical dumbbell shape okay this was the calcium carbonate crystals then going to the ammonium biurate crystals the ammonium biurate crystals they are uh, yellowish to brown in color and they appear like thorny apples you can see this uh, uh, this crystal here it is spherical it is yellowish brown and has a irregular protrusions which are coming out of it as a thorny apple they are also present in the alkaline urine okay this was all about the crystals present in the urine uh, do like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video